Okay, hi everybody. So in this video, we're going to solve the inequality 4 minus x squared is less than or equal to 0. Now, first thing I'm going to do here is when I take a look at this, I don't really like the way it looks. I don't like that 4 minus x squared. So I'm just going to change things a little bit. I'm going to factor out a negative. That's going to give me negative 4 plus x squared is less than or equal to 0. And then I'm going to change the order, make that x squared minus 4. I like that a lot better. Um, and then what I'm going to do is going to move that negative, that coefficient there. I'm going to divide both sides by that negative to move it over. And what that does, and just think back, that's going to change the direction of the sign there. So if I'm looking for where 4 minus x squared is less than or equal to 0, I'm going to get the same answer if I find out where x squared minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. And now I've got this parabola. It really helps to recognize the, sh the shape that we're looking at. Um, there are multiple ways that I could solve this, this one here. There, I could solve this algebraically. Um, but really, really what I want to do here is, and ultimately what I'm going to do here is sort of an algebraic solution. Um, but I'm going to rely on my knowledge of the, of the shape here to help me answer it. I'm going to factor that. I'm going to get x minus 2, x plus 2, because it's a difference of squares. And now I know that this parabola opens upward. And I know that it's got x-intercepts here. Oops, let's just draw that down there. At negative 2 and positive 2. Okay? I know that the parabola is going to open up. So it's going to look something like that. And the question is asking, where is that greater than or equal to 0? So I'm looking for where it's in quadrant 1, not, sorry, quadrants 1 or 2 is what I meant to say, not quadrants 3 or 4. Because in 3 or 4, the value of that expression is going to be less than zero. It's going to be negative, okay? And remember, I'm, I'm talking about the y-coordinate there, not the x-coordinate. So I'm looking for where the y-coordinates here are, are greater than zero. Now, that is going to occur, whoops, that's going to start happening here at when x is equal to 2 or negative 2. If you plug positive 2 or negative 2 in for x, we're going to get zero. So that's my or equal to, okay? Now, if I choose any value for x greater than 2, the result is going to be greater than 0. If I choose any value of x less than negative 2, the result is going to be greater than 0. So just for example, if you plug, let's say, negative 3 into this, negative 3 squared is positive 9, minus 4 is 5. Yes, that is, that is greater. Let's just do it over here. This is going to equal 5 here, and that is, in fact, greater than or equal to 0. Good. If you plug in positive 5, okay, so 5 squared minus 4, is that greater than or equal to 0? It's going to be 25 minus 4, 21. Yep, that is greater than or equal to 0. So that's the answer I'm looking for. I'm looking for where x is less than or equal to negative 2, together with x being greater than or equal to positive 2. And I'll write this in interval notation. Negative 2, sorry, negative infinity out to and including negative 2 because I'm including 0 in my, my set of uh, values that I'm looking for. Union 2 out to infinity. And again, I'm including the 2 in that as well. 